everyone welcome to a more fabrics youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe thumbs up um, this video is just going to be about uh, new items i had just put into the shop this is the holiday items kits that you can get your hands on as you guys know more fabrics we love uh vintage kits vintage fabrics vintage textiles you know and uh, different supplies for the crafty needs and so i'm just going to show you guys today some new items that um, are already listed you can grab whatever i'm showing you here today um, in the shop and i just wanted to show you it and then i could put it on the shelf a lot of times when you go and you see a listing in a shop sometimes it's hard to know what exactly you're getting so i figured i can go ahead and show and share with you guys um, what i have here um, again like i said they're already in the shop so run on over there um, to to get to the shop down below is the link if you're new here, please subscribe, like I said. Um, I usually just throw out items like this to show you new, what's in the shop, what's going on, the daily deals. So by subscribing um, and doing the notification down below, you can know what are the new updates, of what's new, what's added, what's going on kind of thing. And I hope you like what I show. So as you guys can see here, I have a lot of vintage do-it-yourself kits from cross-stitching, knitting, felting. Um, it's going to be a whole lot of different kinds of kits that are different. Um, than just journaling world. Um, I want to share this stuff more often because I do have a group of different kinds of uh, crafters out there between quilting, knitting, uh, crocheting, all that. And I want to start introducing into my videos, into the YouTube channel, those items. I want to make sure this is an open area for so many different types of crafty people. So I get a lot of my items at estate sales, auctions, um, places like that. And I just I keep uh, piling them up, and now it's time to start stocking the shop kind of thing. As you can see, this is the Christmas stuff. So when you go to the shop, these will be all under the Christmas and the do-it-yourself kits. I made sure it was easy access either way, um, and easy and convenient for you to get your hands on them. I don't know about you, but I am starting on Christmas projects uh, for family for Christmas, and these are the type of things I normally would pick up and work on and then gift my family members with. Um, so for those who like to try something new um, and like to uh, check out what I have here, keep watching. So what I have here is a whole lot of beautiful goodies, starting with, let's say, the uh, Christmas uh, stockings. So I don't know about you guys, if anyone's ever made um, a felted stocking for someone for Christmas. This is a kit by Bruchella. It's a cruel Christmas stocking kit, which cruel usually is like a wool yarn. And the size of the stocking is a pretty good size here. It's 19 and a half inches long. Um, and uh, if I can kind of show without the glare of the camera, whoo, um, and the light. But it is a beautiful kit, and included in it will be the different wool yarns, the felts, and everything. Even has the needle that you need to complete this. It is a complete kit for you uh, to work on. So let me go ahead and put that in the bin, and I'll show you another thing we have. We have, for those who like to try like um, like Christmas dowels or decorative type of holiday type of kits, this one here is like a Santa bean bag and um, it's made by Homespun Creations and what it has is it has everything you can see here, it has the dowel and everything like the, the different, the beard, all the buttons and pieces that you need to complete this. I could feel the beans in there. It's a pretty good weight um, and uh, it's really, really cool. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's really neat. And the size of this Mr. Santa decorative dowel um, is, hmm, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good size. It doesn't tell me on the front of this, but um, as you can see by the products on the inside, it's going to be a nice size Santa. So that's a really cool kit and it looks pretty simple. It looks like we pretty much stuffed the Santa with the beans um i don't see anything about stitching but i do see some uh, iron-on appliques in there as well and he's kind of cute so there is that we have which is one of my favorite items this video is going to be kind of quite long so i'm just going to go through the holiday items um this is just going to be the holiday do-it-yourself kits that i'm showing today um and then i'll do another video of because there's so many types of kits i have in the shop that are non-holiday as well so if you don't want to work on um, holiday crafts kind of thing, but a lot of um, cross-stitching kits, things like that. But here is one here is really cool. He's a pretty good size, a finished size. Um, he is an 18 inch by 16 inch. He is pretty much like a felted Santa. I don't know if you can see. 
the different sequins and things like that you can add to it. It says it's a felt wall hanging kit, but I imagine you can create it to where um, it could be like a pillow um, or uh, some kind of dab. Look at all you get in this thing. You get all the sequins, all the fabrics, trims, everything. It's a pretty good size kit. And look at all that different products to make Mr. Santa here. And he's so cute with little mouse. If I can show you there, I'm kind of like everywhere, but in frame. He's adorable, isn't he? If you like to try something new, that is one thing I think would be interesting to try. So, all right. So these are very simple. In fact, I don't know if anyone remembers or has tried these as a kid, but these are those uh, needle craft kind of kits where they have like the mesh. This one here has got the printed on mesh. So all you have to do is take the wool yarn and you just stitch it through kind of thing. Each kit has like easy step-by-step -step instructions, but these kind of kits are also great for kids as well. So these are like, this one here is made by Brichella and Brichella is probably one of the top of the lines do-it-yourself vintage kits out there. Um, it's one of my favorite. Um, there's a lot of different other kinds of brands, but I like Brichella. And um, this is a set of three ornaments that you can get um, in this pack here. And you pretty much stitch them together. You got Santa, Angel, and Mr. Snowman going on there. And look at it. This is like a wool, cool kind of yarn. Easy to work with kind of guys. But look at that. How nice it is that they have like the painted on different mesh to do what you're doing. So it looks like there it shows too where you cut it out. Easy, easy project and fun, cool ornaments that you can do for Christmas. And then this is the same thing. This one here is like the candy cane set. Let me get a little closer. This one here is by CM Columbia Minerva. I can never say it correctly. Minerva, I think it's what it is. This one here has like plastic mesh right here. Call it like a plastic canvas. You guys can see that. You remember doing that as a kid? I do. Um, pretty much they come with like the plastic canvas. It has all the pieces. They're pretty much a complete kit. There's nothing more you need to, to add to this. This one here looks like it comes with eight different ornaments and they're two and a half inch by five and a half inch. And you got red, and of course, and green. But um, what's really cool about vintage kits is they always give like the designer names. Modern day kits, they don't. They had certain different designers and then they would uh, meet up with the different like uh, companies like Rochella. And then it can show. So they become like uh, collectors. These are the kind of collector type of ornament kits kind of thing. So really really cool and then have this one here same company kind of thing but look at those cute ice skates can you see them how adorable is that so you got like the red and the green sorry my glare on my there are four in here and obviously probably a set of two before of these ice skates they're two and a fourth inch by three and a fourth and it's designed by joan ray so and then there you have it so you got you got the plastic canvas and you have the yarn and all the pieces in there and of course the instructions as well so all right let's check out another one here same thing here i'm just grabbing things out of bins these are kits i also have like iron on transfers coming up here in a minute too but of course you got this this sled you got the bike and then the wagon and this one this one of course as is the other ones here the bicycle is three three and a quarter by three and a half the wagon's like five and a quarter by two and a sled is like four inches by one and three fourths inch kind of thing and there you have it it has all the pieces you don't have to get a bunch of thing and it teaches you oh cool it's got like a um a yarn chart as well holds your yarn and stuff like that but teaches you how to put your your yarn into the needle pretty simple easy step-by-step -step stitches and how to do the stitch work just one pattern kind of thing you can see there and relaxing and a really cool gift don't you think all right, let's go to the next one. Let's see what else I have in this box. <laughs> it's so much fun when you try something new. I know growing up, we did a lot of that uh, cross stitching, needle work kind of thing, knitting. All right, so we have some iron on transfers here. This one here looks like it's by Daisy Kingdom and it is Santa in the sleigh. I don't know if you can see that. My camera is doing all kinds of funny things today. But it, and it also shows you different types of iron on appliques that is made by the same maker. But this one here that is in the shop is Santa and the reindeer kind of thing. What else do we have? Oh yeah, so then we have like another one here. It's called uh, 
made by Tulip, but it's got the angel and it's a pretty good size angel iron on transfer. And it gives you different kinds of uh, ways you can use this. Either you can do like wall hanging, put them on shirts or pillows, what have you. It's just a fabric iron on transfer. And then you can do, uh, here you go, it shows you like the instructions, different types of things you have, and then the maker, of course. So that's in the shop. This is one of my favorites here. The Merry Christmas. This one has so much in it. It's really cool. It's a wall hanging, which the thing is, you don't have to keep it in the loom kind of thing. You can make this into a pillow. You can, um, there's so many things you can do here. This is by Titan Needlecraft Works. And it's, they call it a wall hanging, but that's the cool thing about kits like this. You can create it any way you want it kind of thing. But it has everything in there from the poly cotton fabric trims, the floss, and everything. But you can see how cute that is. And then this is what I mean by everything. It has the giant loom in there. It has all the threads and everything you need for this kit, including the instructions. And it's really cool because it's the collectors as well. So it's a cool thing about vintage. You can't, it's hard to find these kind of items. So... Of course, it's adorable. I love it. I hope someone gets this one. It's really cool. If not, I might have to take it off the shelf and do it myself. That's the cool thing about having a shop. If I really want to try to work, I can do it myself. All right, this one here, the packaging broke, so I put it in packaging. But it is, um, Creative Circle makes all kinds. I have a ton of Creative Circle. Creative Circle is an awesome treat yourself kit maker. There we go. Here's another one. But this one here, I don't know if I can get a close-up or not. It's a cross-stitch one. But it says, and the angel said, I bring you good tidings and great joy. And it is a framed size that is 8 by 10 inch. And um, Creative Circle, I love Creative Circle. Matter of fact, I wish I could show you. I have one I'm working on. When I press pause, I grab it really quick. For my daughter, Holly, I'll show you what I'm making her. But it has everything in there, even the school thread. Let me see if I can open this guy up really quick. There you go. This one kind of broke open on me. And this one too, it also has the threading, the instructions. If you see that, see all the flaws. And then the print is, look at this. That's the cool thing about doing a video. I can show you guys exactly what is all in there. So the reason why this is in there is that you can either make this into a pillow or a wall hanging, what have you. I think it'd be really cute as a pillow sitting on your couch. But look how big this is. So you would not have seen that until I opened up this package. Well, it was open. But it's a biblical um, verse by Luke 2, verse 18, sorry, 8 through 10. And this is made, look at here, in 1985. So it has everything you, you want to create that, even included with the needle, it's in there too. So really, really cool. I love old vintage kits. All right, let's put this aside, making all that noise, and then I'm going to put him back together. So here's another Creative Circle. The cool thing is when you get Creative Circle kits, um, you always have to look at the kit number here, and that is actually the kit you get. And then this one here is really cool. It's kit 2518, and it's called A Winter's Night. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is... Of course, you got the wool yarn again, but look at this canvas. It is going to, this kit is huge and it's a good size, 12 inch by 16 inch finished size designed by Diane Sage. But look how adorable that is. And if you guys can see that close up, this is a beauty. This is one to be really, really fun. Um, you can see the different network on there that the snow is raised. Like, so it looks like it's snowing all over, even front of the house. It's really, really cool. And then here is another Creative Circle kit, kit number 2401, which is this one here. It's the long runner. It has the dowel rod. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm not even in frame. It's the long wall hanging runner, and it's called the Symbol of Seasons. It's designed by Molly Fleming. It is 7 inch by almost uh, 27 inches, but really cool. It says peace, hope, love. And then it says, oh, you can personalize it. So you can put the year that you did it in. And look at this. Has the dowel rod for hanging it on the wall. Gets you a whole spool of thread. You get the wool yarns. The canvas is a cotton canvas. And all the cool instructions included in it. But wouldn't that be fun to make somebody? Just absolutely gorgeous. 
Okay, I'm going to pause it here in a second because I want to go show you what I'm making Holly guys really quick. Okay, I'm going to have to change my mind on that one. I have the kit in the other room and I have it in a box and I didn't want to feel like digging. So I'll show it to you, remind me guys later to show you what I've been working on. It's a creative um, circle kit and it's a... Uh, I'm using wool to do some uh, work on it. You'll have to see. <laughs> I try to do it in my spare time, and I have it in the other room, and it's in the box, and I need to go grab that for the Christmas uh, projects that I have. Oh, gosh, I wish I had it right here. But, oh, well, let's continue on so you can kind of see what I got going on here for you guys. Um, we have the, this one here is by Edna uh, Looney. Sorry, I should get into frame here. Edna Looney, and uh, what a name, huh? It's an original needle uh, kit. And it's tree ornament uh, or package decorations. It looks like these little burlap bags and you decorate them with the different sequins and pieces that are in this kit. It looks like it's a pack of three uh, burlap and felt. A finished size, they're four by four inches. And as you can see there, you get like the sequins, the different cutouts and felt, and then you got your burlap in the back. It looks like a really cool, fun, um, project to kind of do a little bit of needlework kind of thing but fun and relaxing so there's that there in the shop candle wicking anyone's ever tried candle wicking oh comment below i'm telling you candle wicking is a project in itself it's a whole different world of doing stitches and a type of stitches and how you do it but the thread is thicker than like an embroidery floss and it says shown actual size you get two of these ornaments that you get to create um, either in ornaments or I'm sure you can use it uh, making little pillows, what have you. But look at there. Isn't it adorable? And it gives you everything you need, including the needle and instructions. So there's that. I'm telling you, keep going on the where I'm at in my time. So we got the Garden Grove kit. It's an angel kit. Look at that doll angel. And it looks like it has everything in there. The kit, it contains, um, let's see what size. It's called Snow Angel. Oh, look at it. You got it's pretty much a doll kit. You got the doll head there. You got the halo. You got the hair. Everything in there. And uh, it has everything you need, pretty much. And it is, I'm trying to find the size of the doll. Which looks like a good size. Here we go. Maybe this might help me out here. Um, looks like a lot of times kids tell you the actual size of the finished product. This one doesn't. Probably because it's an older kit is what I'm assuming. But she looks like a pretty good size. So, all right, let's go on to the next one. What else do I have? Oh, cool. Uh, Jan, uh, Jane Lynn or Jacqueline, I'm not sure which way you call this uh, type of maker. But this is, uh, she usually does, uh, the company does, like, mostly cross-stitch kind of kits. I know that for sure. But this is called Christmas Cross-Stitch. And you get 12, a set of 12, a 4 by 4 inch um, ornament kits. Or you can do pillows. Um, but look at there. I think this the cool thing is this Ada, this Ada fabric is soft. I imagine you can use these pieces if, say, you wanted to make a quilt. You can stitch around fabric on each one of these prints kind of thing. But there's the different types of designs that you get in here, 12 different designs. It comes with the uh, floss, which you guys know can get a little pricey, but Ada even more so. But it's a beautiful bronze uh, kind of Ada fabric. And let me see if it's 14 count or 18 count. Let's see. Um, it says 14 count fabric. So that you kind of know for those who are cross stitchers, you kind of know the difference. So, okay, what else do I have here? I have designer, pro okay, these are uh, different kinds of paint uh, stencils. What do you call them? Stencils, but uh, applicators. So you put the paint on them. Like here is the, looks spongy. Here we go. Here you go. I didn't really want to take it out. You can see it's like spongy. You put the paint on it and then you make the design on what you're doing. And as you can see here, it gives you different ideas if you want to stencil onto fabric aprons or different uh, bags like paper craft kind of thing or uh, shoes, what have you. But these are the designs you get. You got ornaments, candy canes, bells, that kind of thing. And they're 18 piece pre-cut applicators, instruction, and placement diagrams there for you. Um, so yeah, really cool pack that's available as well. 
I do have a whole bunch of stencils going in as well. I know I got a whole pile going on over there. We got some angels. I know we got Santa. This one here is called Angels Above. Hang on, sorry guys. Angels Above. And uh, pretty good, pretty stencils, you know, great company. Okay, we got cross stitch kits. These are small ornaments uh, that are angels. There's all kinds of ones I have. These are cross stitch kits. These are all in the shop, like I said. This one here is a pack of two. I put it in a bag. I kind of bundled them up because these are great. I don't know. I remember when I was a kid, we did a lot of cross stitching and projects for family for Christmas. So I, this one here is a listing where I did two little cross stitch ornament kits in case somebody wants two different ones. This one comes with the frame. There you go. You can kind of see and both of them are little Santas. So there's that. Let me see what else I have. Okay, here we go. So I have this huge felted display. Uh, usually churches um, use these uh, felted displays. It's the really large pack, uh, large display for like those big uh, teacher's manual type of diagrams. They put it on the big board and then they tell the story of about Jesus and the Bible kind of thing. This is uncut. So it is all there and they're really good size pieces. Um, and it has, what's really cool about it, because I brought out the instruction book, it's beautiful in color, but it has so many stories. Like, I think, how many stories did it say it had? It had, like, it has, here's, like, all the indoor-outdoor backgrounds, the different displays for different stories in the Bible, like the baby named John, sweet baby ever born, um, visit uh, the Magi, the flight of Egypt, shepherd's visit, um, it has all these stories, like scenes, to when they are teaching that story in the Bible, from the woman at the well, Nicodemus, uh, the baptism of Jesus, the Sermon on the Mount. It has all these biblical stories here. Um, let me hear. Let's see here. They're numbered. So it has has 44 stories um, ready for you, and it has, this is all the pieces that are in the kit. Um, a huge kit and these get really pricey for those who do the um, Bible teaching and church what have you if you know a church that is looking for a display type of uh, for the felted displays uh, here it is I have one in the shop and uh, there's that I'm gonna put that aside all right there's so many more I and mean, I'm gonna quickly get through so this is just the holiday selection I mean there's so many more and other ones here so here we got the happy holidays that's so cute <laughs> Um, it's a quick cross stitch kit. It comes with a frame as well. There's that. This one is really cool. Whoops. The top opened up. Let me quickly put that aside. It is the four season. The top of it was open, which is fine. I checked it over. It's called Creative Accents. It's a stamped cross stitch kit. And it has the four seasons. If you can see that really quick. It has like the fall section, with the house in the background. And this here is the winter with the house. It's like the same type of housing this one's the summer of course and then we got the fall kind of thing up there in spring and it says to everything there is a season it's a really cool kit a finished size is 14 inch by 14 inch and look at this the cool thing about a creative circle they always make it easy look at there they already have your colors already on this plastic holder easy instructions and everything you need is included all right, hey, this here is really cool. Here's a couple more cross stitch ones here. This is so cool that you can cross stitch this and then quilt it into a quilt. It's counter cross stitch and it's pretty big. It's pretty much the, uh, this one here is called the Glastonbury Cross. You can see there. But look at all you get. You get all the, the Ada fabric, the needle. You get all the embroidery floss that you need. I'm trying to remember what size that this whole thing was. It's a big piece. It's a big print. Let me see if I can find this size. Maybe the other one will have it. This one here is the uh, the Cumberland Cross. Same thing. The kit is pretty rather large. You get the Ada in this one. I wish I knew the size. Um, here we go. It is 18 count Ada. I wish I knew the size of these. Sorry, guys. But it's really rather cool, don't you think? All right, here's another needlepoint uh, craft uh, kit. This one here is the needle punch embroidery. So it's like the uh, needle punch. It's a different kind of um, 
there's a, a tool you use to do this, but look at that cardinal. Isn't it beautiful? And it gives that raised look kind of thing. If you see that. So there you got the floss. You got the, like the, the pure linen type of canvas going on there and the instructions included with the, I don't see no needle. I think there's a certain tool you need for this one, guys. Okay, another stencil. I told you I had stencils by the same maker. This one here is Joseph and Mary. That should be in the shop. So we have some of these, um, like, different do-it-yourself, like, um, instructions when it comes to, these are made in the 80s. These are, like, different, how to make different orna um, ornaments. Oh, my goodness, my brain, guys. Uh, different stockings. So, like, different stocking instructions. Like, none of the fabric and pieces are in here, but it has the instructions in there. Like, it tells you exactly what you're needing to buy to create this. So these are just different uh, patterns, I guess is what I was trying to say. Like where you can personalize is that, oops, sorry you guys. This one here has a teddy bear on a pillow and then a bunny in a tree. And then this one here is the angels, which is really, really cool. It's like they're raised. Look at how they did like a doily at the top of that one. Then here I have uh, instructions, like a different uh, book on and patterns as well and there as well as the Raggedy Ann and Andy is the actual size dolls the 22 inch boy and girl Raggedy Ann uh, with the clothes instructions as well it's a really really cool pack if I had time I'd really work on that one for those who like to do stained glass or patterns for stained glass this is the different kinds of packs for that I know my mom, she used to do stained glass and she used to have a stained glass, like glass cutter with like the diamond cutter and all that. It's really, really cool. A great art for those who are in it. But these are the patterns. There's six large patterns in each. And here is the patterns that are in that one. That is like a craft. That if you want to check it out, it is fun, but it is expensive, especially when you buy your glass. That's got six patterns. And here is this one here. And it has those type of patterns in there. This one's really cool. This one's an all-purpose uh, pattern pack. has 11 patterns in it with a free sample of foil, crafting plastic, and Arlene's Club discount. I'm not sure. But look at it. You can make. And here are the patterns. Sorry. I'm trying to get that without a glare, guys. And that one. These are really cool, too. I have these called Express Yourself Packs. These are like stencil packs. I don't know if you can see the stencil part, but the paper's on it, so you can't really see. I'm just going to read off each one to you. These are stencils that you can stencil onto the uh, on paper and everything. This one here is the ABC. As you can see here, if I can get close enough, the type of pattern it is that you can use to uh, put on bags, papers, or personalize your projects. This one here is, it says, a uh, care package goodie bag. And that's what the stencil is going to be like on there. And look at that, how they just put that in and on bags and on their, um, even on fabric and things like that, depending on what kind of paint you use. This one says, from my kitchen, happiness is homemade. But isn't that cool that where you can personalize what you are doing kind of thing? This one says, to, from from me to you, to where you can personalize. That's what the stencil will be like onto whatever project you're doing. Here's a Brichella cross stitch kit. And we're almost done here on some of the, the kits that I had just stocked. But this one here is, of course, the, the supper. And it looks like this one's measured seven by five. And the Ada is 14 count Ada. But isn't that really cool? And look at everything in there you need to complete that kit. Obviously, minus whatever frame you're going to use. Um, we have here a felt visit applique. Um, it's a no sew instructions included. It's made by Dimensions. It's smitten with mittens. And is it a felt like type of shirt? Look at there. It has everything in there that you need to create the patterns of those cute little mittens. Imagine you don't have to do a vest. You can at least use those mittens for, like, say, ornaments or something. That'd be cool. You have the Brigitte, uh, sorry, Daisy Kingdom. It's just the pattern here for you. It doesn't have the 
um, a, uh, the floss in here, the embroidery floss, but it's a vintage pattern by Brichella, and it says, uh, Berry Christmas, instead of Merry Christmas, see, it's a bear. And the size here, you can either use this for a pillow for somebody after you do all the cross stitch. And cross stitch, for those who's never done cross stitch, is pretty easy. It's pretty much you're stitching X's everywhere. And it turns out to be really, really cute. All right, what else we got here, guys? <laughs> I'm telling you, I got some stuff. I'll be listing a bunch of stuff, so you have to check often. Down below will be the link to my shop to check it out. So um, this is a darning kit. Um, so this one's called Butterfly. Finished pillow size or uh, wall hanging is 14 by 14 inches. And as you can see here, you are darning it. So it's almost like a different form of needlework. And I'll show you what's inside. So there you go. There is the different canvas that you have. But look what you get in with it. You get the beautiful trims. Look at that a big amount of lace. The fabrics, the darning floss right there. And then the uh, canvas that you need to do this pillow kind of thing. So there's that. What else do I have? I know he doesn't belong in there. Some more stencils. Like here's a Merry Christmas stencil. I don't know if you can see that okay. So it's made by Simply Christmas Stencil by Plaid. And uh, which would be really cool. You got this Mr. Santa. As you can see there. Candy cane, snowflakes, trees. And uh, there you have it. All right, guys, I hope you like to see some of the new things that we just stocked into the shop. I hope that maybe these might be things that you can do for your Christmas projects, um, for family. And if you want to try something new, you know, I know that's what I love doing is making homemade gifts for my family. And uh, hopefully you guys have that same passion. So stay tuned to next time. And uh, again, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So then you can see what's new, what's newly added. And um, feel free to join the Facebook group. That there is an awesome way to share. Say, if you did get one of these kits, share your completed work kind of thing. And uh, so I would love if you shared. So there you guys have it. Now I can stock these on a shelf and add some new stuff for you guys. You guys have a blessed day. And thank you for spending the time to see all the new different kits I have here. Bye, guys.